okay guys so we started this drawing today in class um, it's called wildlife sanctuary so in class today we measured up 100 to start so I've measured up 100 here and I've drawn a line across my page next step then was to measure in 140 from the side of my page or 130 from my border if I have one and that will find me my point S next thing I did was measured across my widths so my widths are given here as being 32 38 38 and 32 so I've measured them out 32 38 38 and 32 the next step for me was to draw a line up here at 58 degrees because it's given here as being 58 degrees so I've used my protractor for measuring that angle so I've lined it up and I've measured up 58 degrees and I've drawn a firm line. That gets me this point here. From this point I could measure up 16, 18 and 22 to find the overall height of this drawing. So those dimensions are given here as 16, 18 and 22. So I'm going to find them three points now and I'm going to draw construction lines across my page to make a grid now that this drawing is going to fit into. So first step as I said is to go up here and to measure 16, 18 and 22. Okay, so I found the overall height now of my drawing. I've measured up 16, 18, and 22. So the next step now is to draw a line up here at 58 degrees, to draw a line through the center of my shape at 72 degrees, and a line up here at 72 degrees as well. So I'm going to get this line, this line, and this line here. Okay, so I'm going to start with this line of 58 over to the right. So lining up my protractor and measuring up my angle so it's going to be 10 20 30 40 50 5 6 7 8 so 58 degrees and using the straight edge of my protractor to draw a construction line first and then a firm line okay next step then is to measure an angle of 72 from this point here as well so 72 going up in this direction so lining up the crosshairs of my protractor here again and this time measuring 72 degrees so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 1 and 2 and again I can see that that's a firm line all the way to the top of my shape Okay, so going up there 72 degrees and from this point here now I'm going to measure up another line of 72 degrees but this time it's not a firm line all the way we see that it turns into a construction line here and then a firm line from here down so we're just going to do for the time being a construction line so measuring up this time from the left one two 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 2 degrees, and a construction line. Okay, perfect. So I have a grid now drawn, and I have these two, con this construction line and these three firm lines. So I can go back to my drawing now and decide what I'm going to draw next. 
So from 16 here, I can see that there's a line, a construction line going up here at 18 degrees. And as this shape, uh, the same thing over here is going to be 18 in this direction as well. So we're drawing a line up here at 18 degrees. So I'm going to go to this point, which I can find on my drawing as just being this point right here. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line from it just to help me with my protractor. So construction line, it's going to be a, cons a horizontal construction line. And I'm going to measure up 18 degrees. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's going to be that point. I'm going to do the same over on this side. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 degrees here. And this is a construction line here and a construction line here. So what I've done there is exactly what it's asked me to do in the drawing, which is draw a construction line 18 degrees from this point here. And the same on this side. So just following that line horizontally across to get this point over here and drawing a line um, at 18 degrees. So there's an 18 degree angle here. Okay, so next point. We're going to draw a line at 90 degrees to this line at 18 degrees from this point, from this point, and from this point. Okay, so we're going to get our 45 degrees set square. So that's the, uh, the isosceles triangle. So these two sides are the same, and this one is different. So we're going to get the different side, which is the longest side, and we're going to line it up with this 18 degree line. Okay, so that's the longest side of my 45 degree set square lined up there. We want to find lines at 90 degrees to it. So if we just zoom in here and look at our question, there's a 90 degree angle here between this 18 degree line and this one line here. Okay, so it's 90 degrees. So that means that this is a right angle, but it also means that this line here and this line here are perpendicular to each other. So they're at 90 degrees to each other. So this is how we draw a line perpendicular to each other. So I'm going to set up the longest side of my 45 degree set square, get my 30, 60 set square, and just leave it up against it, like what we do in the side and set squares method. And instead now of sliding it along like this, and every line I draw being parallel, I'm going to flip it a lot around like this. So around this 90 degree angle, I'm going to flip it. And now this longer side is at 90 degrees to the line that we want to find. Okay, so all these lines now are going to be 90 degrees. So just to do that again, lining up here with the line at 18 degrees. So line that up there. So what I've done is I've lined up my set square with this line. And I want to find a line coming out 90 degrees to it. So I'm going to get my other set square, which is 30, 60 and leave any side up against that. That's just going to be kept there now nice and still and just flipping it around like this. Okay, and now every line I draw with this long side of my 45 degree set square is going to be at 90 degrees to this original line that we were trying to find 90 degrees to. So I'm going to draw a construction line into the middle of my shape from here here and here okay so I've drawn construction lines now into the middle of my shape if you can't get your head around that you can just get your protractor and measure out a 90 degree angle okay so line it up with that line and at the point that you want to draw a 90 degree angle at and just mark it there and you can draw your 90 degree angle but getting to know this method is very um, important as well so i've drawn construction lines there and now it's just a matter of going over them with firm lines so they turn into firm lines um, just as far as the center line of the shape okay so that's one of them two of them and three of them there. 
Okay, and then they are joined up here with a firm line as well. Okay, so we need to do the same thing over here as well. So what I'm going to do is, again, lining up the longest side of my 45 degree set square, and it has to be the longest side. If it's not, it won't work. Lining up that longest side of my 45 degree set square with the line I want to find 90 degrees to. Getting my 30, 60 and leaving it up against it. And then again, just flipping it around to 90 degree side here. This is the 90 degree side, flipping it around that. Okay, and drawing three lines at 90 degrees to that line. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then joining them up with a firm line here as well. Okay, so we can see now how much of the Wildlife Sanctuary logo we have done so far. The next thing I want to do is to do this, um, I suppose this would be like the nose of the bird that it's meant to look like. Okay, so we're joining this point here to this corner and this point here to this corner. So they're points that we already know and we're just joining them with construction lines first. So joining this point here to this point here. So you can just look at your drawing to find out which lines are being connected. And then this center point of our shape up to the top right corner um, of this point here. So not to the top right corner, just to this point here. But again, look at the drawing before you do your lines. Okay, and we found the beak then, which is going to be drawn with a firm line. So where them two lines intersect, join the back. And up here as well. And it's going to be firm across the top. And then a firm line all the way down through the body. Until I get to the beak. Okay, so there are my firm lines. I also want to draw my firm line here at the bottom, so you can use your T-square for that. Okay, and there's only two more lines left to get, and that would be this line here, which is parallel with this line, so we're going to have to know how to do our parallel lines again, and this line here, which is also parallel with this line here. Okay, so that means that this line is going up at 58 degrees as well, and this line is going up in this direction at 58 degrees as well. And they're being joined then. I have to try to find out exactly where they're being joined. Yeah, perfect. They're being joined at this point here. So remember when we measured across 32 and we drew up our vertical lines, where that cuts this point here, we need to draw a parallel line back into the body and the same as over here. Okay, so parallel lines, lining up alongside my 45 degree set square again, with the line I want to find parallel to and using our set squares together just going to move them over here. So slide and set squares. So sliding along it until we get to that point and draw my firm line. And doing the same over here. So using our set squares together, moving it up here until I get to that point and drawing that firm line. Okay, so that is that logo now drawn. If you have any questions on that, just let me know on Microsoft Teams and I will see you next week.